Well, um, I'm sorry. I'm in uh, in my sleeping bag, <laughs> but it's it has been nice nice joining uh, joining us in our dorm here. So uh, we have a new drummer again. This is John. Yeah. Another new batter. The last drum I was more, Lewis, our last drum was more into like techno and like uh, raves and stuff. So um, he was in the band for about a year. And then we had Michael before that. He was in the band for about a year and a half, but he didn't really like touring a lot uh, and being away. And the first drummer was uh, a bit difficult to get on with sometimes. So. Um, so now we have John, numero quatre, and we're hoping that he might stay a while. Because we like him. Because we like him, yeah. You Not that we want to tell him that, though. <laughs> uh, not, and, and whatever you do, don't tell him he's a good drummer at the end of the concert. <laughs> that always, like, sets him off. I think my head grows. <laughs> I can't stand up on anymore. I think we've been very lucky. To, to, with, our, with our drummers, uh, we've always had very good drummers. Um, uh, and yeah, again with John, it's, it, it's been a matter of luck and you know just uh, practicing and playing concert. It gets better each each concert. It's been interesting though, because like each drummer's had his own style, which has always put something different to the music. Like the first album and the second album are very different. And the third album, the new one, which came out like a week or two weeks ago on Music Disc, is um, is different again. So um, it, it's been good for us, for me and Martin, like, and it's been good for the band because it means we're not the same all the time. difficult because it's a small, uh, quite a small island, and it's it's it, it, there's a lot of there's big music business there, um, and we find it difficult because we we're not sort of uh, towing the line. How do you say that? Uh, we're not um, being like every other band. We want to be um, a bit individual, or we want to play the music that we want to play which is really uh, at the moment it's not in England it's not the music that's happening I think it's um, it's becoming more commercialized now than it was before there was a very deep rooted underground feeling to what the bands were doing in that genre I think um, nowadays it's uh, there's a lot of image involved and a lot of um, Working with the press, you know, with the bands, they're, they're as concerned about working with the press as they are about playing their own music, you know. People wait as well. There are bands in, 
in London that uh, <coughs> wait to be uh, to be signed by big major labels or you know, big labels, so then they don't have to think anymore. You know, people will, will tell them when when to rehearse, when to get the bus for the tour. You know, when to get to the airport. You know, and, and they they want that because they don't want to think. I think like uh, look to America first and then maybe England but never never looks to somewhere like France um, you know there'll be the odd band from Europe that is successful like say the Young Gods or Einstein's and Neubarten you know from Germany but on the whole I think the English press is very xenophobic they just uh, they only want to know about English and American bands and you know, because that's cool. English and America, that's cool. But uh, France, yeah, they want to know about France, you know. And uh, it's uh, it's a shame because, like, say, you know, there's a lot of good bands here which uh, could be really big around the world if you know they were recognised in England and maybe America.